Yeah, I'm gonna quickly save it. Just in case, you know. I've got to delete that one. Uh oh, what's that? Hey guys, Kieran here. I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Desperate Housewives. The game. And, uh. Yes, we've got this thing to do. We're waiting for the postman, I think. I'm I'm honestly just can't remember what I was doing, so I think we'll sleep to be honest, and then we'll uh, oh sorry we'll concentrate on going postal tomorrow. I guess we got some oh we got some simming to do. Look, first of all we'll t stand by the television. <laughs> okay, so what's the point? Hey, that is avian attacker. There we go, that's that. So, the cycle of life continues. Appearance. Well, we can sort that out tomorrow, probably, but... But still! Gotta work on these simmy bits, as well as the investigating and all that jazz. Take a shower, and then, yeah, sleep, and, um, mm. I seriously can't remember what I'm doing, so that's, that's a good thing. I think she was invisible today. Do more primping, just keep primping it up. Look at that mirror texture, so weird. Here we go. Go to sleep. Going to sleep in heels as heels as well. So weird. What a weirdo. What kind of creepy weirdo sleeps in their shoes? Me apparently. Right. I'll change our clothes, that usually helps. There we go. There we go. There's... No, not nap. There's a look. No, not nap. I want to go downstairs. Staircase. Use the stairs. Okay, I've got to keep an eye out for the mailman. Mrs. Davenport saw the mailman with a package from Pestport, the very company that exports the bug that attacked your garden. Do your best to coax some details out of him. Follow your goal point there. Yeah. Right. You know what? Should we cook a different meal? I'm going to cook some food while we wait for the mailman. Because, you know, we still haven't done all of that. I just It's weird, isn't it? I guess there's some... Si Let's do some more simming. It's also, we need social, but... We gotta get out of here. Cook recipe. Cook. What haven't we done? Never attempted the cheese squares. Let's try cheese squares. Okay. So, cut cheese. Right. Bad. Uh, add eggs to bowl. Add milk to bowl. Okay, add chunks. Boing. Place cheese squares on skillet. Oh, right. Guess we want them well done in the middle. Boop. I'll probably give this a second go, maybe try the chopping again. Perfect. See, my chopping was okay. I'm going to retry it. <laughs> that was better. That was actually better. Eggs, milk, stir, 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 stir. Cheese. 
bling blong on the skillet. That was actually way better. So that's good. Flip. Flip. B plus. Okay, I, I'll have that. Let's all sit down for lunch. Breakfast. T squares for breakfast, guys. Basically got to wait around for the mailman, so I might as well do some simming while I'm at it. Well, I'm finished first. Those are good cheese squares, guys. Bling. Oh, the house needs flipping cleaning as well. So much work, you know? Oh my god. It's all I ever dreamed it would be. I... Which chair are oh, you? Okay, we might as well clean the lounge. Might as well do some laundry. Oh look, the mailman arrow's here. Okay, we'll catch him in a minute. Luckily he's like nine to five, so. Blowing. There's only a shower and a bed now, so we'll do those later. <laughs> we got a mission to do. We got a quest to find the mailman. Okay. Where is it pointing me? I think he's up in the cul de sac. I think he might be up in the cul de sac. Let's see. Mailman? Mailman? Ah, oh, there he is. Hello, Mr. Mail. Oh, let's just... There we go. Password time. Hey, ma'am. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. I just wanted to thank you for the wonderful job you do around here. I need to know who got a certain package. Well, ma'am, that's confidential information. I really have to keep working. Good day, ma'am. Listen, I'll cut to the chase. Someone in the neighborhood infected, infested my house with bugs, and the only clue is that they got the bugs some pest port. I'm just looking for some help here, please. No way, please, it's very important that I find out who received a package from pest port recently. Perhaps I can make it worth your while, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Okay, okay. Maybe I can help you out, but I'm gonna need an incentive. <laughs> oh god. Do we have to... Well, there's another package we could discuss in some detail. Why don't you step inside my house? Do we have to sleep with him? <laughs> you know, I was just talking to a friend about the fact that the postal workers don't get enough compensation for all the hard work they do. I'll get back to you on that. Middle one. For 250 bucks, surely some paperwork could go missing and somehow find its way into my hands. Ooh, 250 bucks. You know, it's funny. That kind of thing actually happens sometimes. <laughs> it's amazing how things can fall between the cracks. Hmm. Here's a copy of the order form that came with the package you were asking about. Nice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really have to get back to work. See? A little money just... Now, I know you're a part of the federal government. I give and I give, and this is the thanks. I get some personal computer form. Thanks or nothing. Always a pleasure to help out a federal employee. Have a good day. Goodbye. Okay, if the shoe fits, now that you know... Whoa, 
Now, you know, Tabitha Savage has been behind all three attacks on you and your son. Confront her and uh, see what she has to say about it. Are we sure it's Tabitha? Tabitha Savage's order form, okay. We got, we got all sorts of crud. Look at this. We got a bug in our pocket somewhere. Or something. I don't know. Right, I'm going to go home. And we're going to phone Tabitha. Tabitha. Right, and we'll just stand to the... Let's, let's go over here. We'll stand in this porch looking at our rear garden. Which I don't think we've ever been in. I, I'm not even sure if he can go in the garden. Hang on. Can we go in the garden? I don't know. I, I know I should really be phoning Tabitha right now, but I want to know. It's my side gate. What, we have a lawnmower back there? Hmm. Weird. Right. Tabitha, send. Yeah? What do you want? Yeah? I know what you did to my son. Well, I'm on to you, lady. How dare you treat my family that way? Yeah, let's be creepy. I know what you did. What are you talking about? Um, you were the one responsible for those flies about Daniel. Danielle, I mean, not Daniel. It's a different one. Um, <laughs> I know you've been sending emails using my son's account. Ooh, you tried to destroy my garden with those vicious little pests of yours. That one we can actually have evidence of, so maybe that one. The other two, possibly. We haven't checked the samples yet. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps you should up your meds, sweetie. Don't play coy with me. I have a receipt from Pestport with your signature on it. How did you get that? I don't think that matters so much as the fact that the receipt proves you were responsible for these flyers. Does it? What flyers? Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, wait, we do have a signature. Wait, what? The flyers, the faming... Danielle, the handwritten flyers that match the handwriting on your order form. So, what are you going to do about it? Well, I um, was going to call the cops, but I wasn't sure I had enough. But I also discovered you were sending emails using my son's account. You can't be serious. Besides, th there's no way to prove I sent Allison those emails. Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't say Allison got those emails. I got you now. Okay, you caught me. So now what? Well, all I can say is it's a good thing you're a fall color because you're going to be wearing an orange jumpsuit for a long time. A long time. Um, I think it's time for you to pay for your crimes. That all depends. What can you do for me? Yeah, orange jumpsuit. Orange is the new black, BTW. What? I've never seen that show, I don't know. I don't need to do anything. There's no way you can get me in trouble. Oh, yeah? My father is a close friend of the sheriff, as well as a longtime member of the city council. I'm untouchable in this town, honey. Well, your daddy may, may know a few people, but I have even higher connections. We are literally linked. We do literally know someone who is part of the mob. No, he is the mob. You're just trying to scare me. Oh, and oh no, we're also good friends with an FBI agent. That's good. I was like, we're not getting the mob involved, are we? Uh, no, I'm just speaking the truth. I happen to be very good friends with someone that the FBI, the FIB, not the FBI. <laughs> I don't believe you. You'll believe me when. You're being strip searched by some prison guard, or maybe you like the, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, it really doesn't matter if you believe me or not, you're still going to jail. It doesn't matter. I hear spending a few few years in a six by nine prison cell gives you plenty of time to think about things. 
Uh, wait a second. Let's talk about this. Maybe we can make a deal. Oh, yeah. The deal better be good. Had better be good. Uh, you had your chance, sweetie. I need to make a call. I'm listening. How about five thousand dollars? Mm, six thousand. <laughs> I think that may be enough to brush all this under the proverbial rug. I'm the wife of a very successful, successful, successful doctor. You're going to have to do better than that. Oh my, are those police sirens I hear? We gotta get more money out of her, let's be honest. Please, I can't pay any more than that. Can I pay you an installment? Like $200 a month. Show some mercy. After what you tried to do to my son, and to me, not likely, maybe I'll have to just show you how a decent human behaves. Maybe you could learn from it. Uh, listen, honey, I hate to be cliche, but you shouldn't do the crime if you can't do the time. Middle one. Oh, man. Okay. Resolved the issue. Now the culprit has confessed to their crimes. It's time to take care of your son. Let him know his name is cleared. And that once his mother has come to the rescue... Uh, once again, his <laughs> mother has come to the rescue. If you want to pass charges to the guilty part on the guilty part, you make sure to talk to Eric Larson first. Justice isn't blind. The guilt person's confessed to their crimes, and you have done you have enough evidence to put them away for quite some time. Just calling the cops won't be enough because the legal process will take too long, and your family could be still be in trouble. See if you can speed the process along by talking to Eric Larson. Okay. Let's speak to Eric Larson, shall we? Yes, Mary. Oh, stop calling me Mary. God, weird. No, this is Kira. No, this is Patrick. Um, please don't call me that, Eric. It's Kira. Eric, this is important. I need your help. Sure. What can I do? Eric, I'll cut to the chase. My son is a moron. Wow. Well, this is embarrassing. My son has gotten into a situation. I need you I need you to help me resolve the situation. What situation is that? My son's been framed for posting some nasty flyers about a neighborhood girl. He also is being accused of sending out lewd and threatening emails to another girl. And I feel a little silly even mentioning this, but someone let the whole bunch of nasty foreign looking bugs loose on my garden. Hmm. Could you describe these insects? <laughs> hmm. I I don't know. They're just big and purple and basically destroyed my garden. What does it matter? Well, they're big, nasty, and purple with six and ten eye. Bug spray doesn't even slow them down. Why does that matter? Well, I'm not an entomologist, Eric. All I can say is they're big, purple, nasty little things that almost ruined my garden. Why does that matter? Well... That kind of bug doesn't sound native to North America. You don't happen to know where they came from, do you? Actually, I do. Tabitha ordered them from Pestport. If those insects aren't indigenous to this country, bringing them in is illegal. Oh! Oh, we got her. So what kind of sentence would she get? Wait, I don't get it. What's illegal now? Wait, what about all the vicious stuff she did to my son? Yeah, so that kind of, what's kind of, yeah. As someone who knows the court system pretty well, I'd say you'd have a hard time proving anything. Oh. So we can get her on the bug thing then? Even if you did, she'd get a slap on the wrist. With a smuggling conviction, she'd go away for a long time. Ooh. I have a copy of her order form in my pocket, if that helps. So, what's the punishment? <laughs> Um, I have a copy of the order form, if that helps, but I don't know somewhere it's illegal to buy these bugs, yeah. So what's the punishment? At least six to eight years. Nice. Wow, just buying some disgusting look. Oh, let's restart that. Wow, just for buying some disgusting looking bugs? These aren't just any bugs. 
They're a threat to our nation's crops. If they make it to farmland, the devastation would be unimaginable. Oh, no. They're a big enough threat that Customs has them on a watch list. So they must have been smuggled in. Six to eight years is a long time. So, can you help me put her in jail? What are my options? You have two choices. One, give me the evidence that will send her to jail. Or two, we act like this conversation never happened. Send her to jail. Although I sincerely hope you pick the former option. I, I need to think about it a little more this is serious. I'm with you. There must be consequences for our actions. Are you sure? There's no turning back once the Bureau's involved. I'm totally sure. This totally won't come back and bite me on the butt. Probably. Maybe. I need more time to think about it. I'm sure. Boom. There we go. Justice isn't blind. Completed. So now we need to resolve the issue. We need to talk to... My boy! Karano, my boy! And seeing as we're like 20 minutes in, I might do a quick save. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna quickly save it. Just in case, you know. I gotta delete that one. Uh-oh, what's that? Uh-oh. An unhandled exception has occurred. Oh, no. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. We had to sort of replay back to the point I was at, so... Where were we at? Oh, yeah, we got to talk to... The sun. Hello, the sun. Okay. So, have you figured out who's behind it yet? Yes, I did. It was Mrs. Savage. I wish I was surprised, but after what she pulled before, I'm not. So, what are we gonna do about her? I've called a friend, and she'll be out of our hair for, let's say, six to eight years. Prison? Wow. Isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. She was importing bugs into the country. She broke a federal law, Kirano. That's a mandatory sentence. Don't worry. She'll probably get some time off for good behavior. <laughs> That's what you get for messing with this family. Wow. Brutal. It's not really up to me. If I could help produce that sentence, I would. Yeah. Well, okay. Thanks, Mom. Of course, dear. What, what's the mother for if not looking out for a family? Don't thank me yet. I, I want you to realize that you are partly responsible for this whole mess. Uh-huh. If you just stay out of trouble, I wouldn't need to save you again. Yeah. He's technically partner. Yeah, stay out of trouble, you. Are you saying this was my fault? Only partially. Clearly, she isn't quite right in the head, but you need to be careful how you treat women. <laughs> nice. Clearly, you're planning some, g playing some games with this woman, sending out mixed messages or whatever. Don't be like most boys your age. Be a man like your father. Wow. Damn right I am. You're the new kid in town, and you were playing the field with her in weeks. There are repercussions. Yeah, be a man, Manny. Man, it's Kirano. Well, I guess you got a point there. So are the girls still mad at me? Yeah, she's gonna have to make amends with them on your own. <laughs> okay, Mom. I'm just glad this whole thing is over. Me too. Oh god, who's phoning now? The package should be on its way. Huh? What if I don't want to open it? Oh yeah, the package, I forgot. What package? What if my husband comes home before the package arrives? Uh, what package? Come on, we talked about this earlier. If I didn't know any better, I'd say your forgetfulness is getting worse. <laughs> anyway, I'm sending you something that contains sensitive information on your husband. What if I don't want to open it? Okay, I'll check out Vinny. Check it out, Vinny. Thanks, I guess. What if my husband's come home before the package arrives? Don't you worry about that. Your husband has been dealt with. Really? He's literally just stood, sat here, behind me. What are you talking about? That sounds ominous. <laughs> what did you do to my husband? You killed my husband? <laughs> He's sitting right behind Don't me. Don't be ridiculous. 
I've just made sure he's otherwise disposed until the package is delivered. What if I don't want to open it? Uh, wow, whatever you're sending me must be very important. Okay, I'll check on out it up, Vinny. Thanks, I guess. Large loads of delicious, juicy mystery. separated by a thousand miniature knives and pressed into familiar shapes. Your dog would love. Hi, Manny. How are you? Did they deal with you? Okay, Vincent has just picked up, just had the package delivered to you regarding your husband. He has very, he was very insistent that you see its contents. It's waiting to be picked up. Oh yeah, look, there it is. We'll pick up that in a minute, but I remembered we have post to get. No? We have no post to get, okay, never mind. We'll just get the package then. I don't really want to look at it. We were told not to really get involved with Vinny, so... But, oh well. Do we use it? Don't know. Ex examine the goods. Now that you have the package, open it up to see what's inside. What could your husband be hiding from you? To succeed in life, it is important to understand when it's time to fight the good fight, and when it's time to make amends. <laughs> oh. Even though this can be frustrating, it's a fact of life. <laughs> going down but when things are taken too far we may well Erased? find ourselves forced to pay the price for years to come what was that I didn't quite see what the word was stamped on the thing it was obviously a marriage certificate or something I don't know Are we in like, like that? Uh, what's it? Oh, damn! It. I always forget what that's called. <laughs> that thing. They give you a new identity. That one. Uh, yeah, totally gone from my head. Wow. Okay. When presented with the truth about a terrible situation, oh. one must choose to address their problems head on. Or simply deal with the circumstances at hand. When faced with the complexity of life and the tough decisions that must be made, sometimes one has to wonder if there is any wisdom to the thought that ignorance is bliss. Oh, what? <laughs> so the thing said deceased? Is Manny dead? Is he not Manny? I know he doesn't really look like Manny from the uh, Sims Let's Play, but <laughs> whatever. Wake up right now and get your butt out of bed, Manny. You got some serious explaining to do. Manny, we need to talk. Glad you finally decided to wake up because there are some things we need to discuss. Hmm. Yeah. Ah! Oh, he fades through the covers. Plus, he's sleeping. Oh, it's... It's a bit early for one of our talks, don't you think? Trust me, this is the kind of thing that you can't wait. We need to talk now. Considering what you've got to talk about is not early enough. Look, you're already avoiding the topic. Yeah, not early enough. Whatever it is, you're overreacting. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a shower and get ready for work. Okay. Fine, but uh, that's fine. While you're there, you might want to change the combination to your little safe. It's not safe anymore. I understand, Manny. It's just that I found a few things in your safe that I thought you'd like to explain to me. 
no. Now you're going to tell me what the hell those things I found in hidden in your little stash are supposed to mean. Uh, yeah, middle. Am I safe? Yeah, you're safe. What? You went through my safe? Uh, how? No, not directly. Gold. Right then, this is probably the perfect place to stop this episode. <laughs> really, in the middle of a conversation, I know. But um, yeah, I hope we enjoyed it. If you did, all that usual YouTube shiz is appreciated. Thanks for watching, and toodle pipski. <laughs>